What's up wave makers? Mommy Tsunami here. And today is a very special video to me because this video was made possible by one of you. Uh, that person in particular being Amanda Flowers. Thank you Amanda so much for sending me all of this beautiful, beautiful stuff. As you guys know, I opened up a P.O. box a few weeks ago and I've gotten a couple packages so far, but today we are doing the coveted, the wonderful, and the oh so loved on this channel paparazzi. <laughs> So thank you, Amanda. She sent me some paparazzi goodies, hun. I have never laid my eyes on actual paparazzi jewelry, so I'm so excited to have this. So let's just get started. Let's look at what she gave me. Yes, there is jewelry involved. However, she also sent me a lot of paparazzi um, kind of training material and stuff like that too. I, I just, she said, these pages are from the paparazzi party planner. Thought you might enjoy these as well. Oh, I do, Amanda. I do. So yeah, there's jewelry in here. I want to go over this first because jewelry, honestly, let's be honest with ourselves, it's the grand finale. This is our mission statement. To bring strength, independence, and empowerment to individuals and their families by building confidence and financial freedom through affordable fashion, period. While $5 jewelry may not change the world, we believe those who wear it will. Cute. First of all, that's a long mission statement. And second of all, the fact that they even have financial freedom in their mission statement just says a lot about their intentions being a company. They might sit there and go, it's all about the $5 jewelry. Is it though? The back has a note from the founders. Look at all these happy smiling faces. <laughs> well, okay, actually, I think some of this is gonna be important to go over here. Hello, baby. This is a note from the founders about what a paparazzi party should be. There's not a textbook definition of what a paparazzi party should be. That's the beauty of it. But there are three things that every party needs to be successful. People, product, and preparation. Okay, so let's, let's pause here. <laughs> People, yes, you need people to be able to buy the product. That's hard to do. I think even just today I got a comment on my original paparazzi video of someone literally defending the company by going, I know a friend who she just did a party last night and she sold 85 pieces. Okay, 85 pieces in one night. One would say that that is pretty freaking good. Uh, they make $2.25 profit on every piece of jewelry they sell. So, uh, that's like 200 bucks-ish, that's not bad. But think about it. Think about how many pieces of jewelry, 85, 87 pieces of jewelry is. That's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot and that is unusual. If your profit is only like 200 bucks from selling 80 something pieces of jewelry, they brag about their commission being 40%. It still isn't shit, man, but anyway, product. Okay, so let's talk about product. When people defend paparazzi to me, most of the time they go, I don't have to keep an inventory. Well, hun, <laughs> just look at all these examples I found by searching online, just real quick, super fast. Many, many people have product and it's people like Amanda who had a crap load of leftover stuff that she couldn't sell and that's how people like me end up with it. A big selling point of most MLMs is, oh my god, you don't have to keep an inventory. Well, this is saying right here, there are three things that every party needs and product is one of them. They're literally saying you need to have product. It's right here, it's right here in freaking black and white and pink. All right, in addition to the content found on the following pages, we wanted to share three consistent habits that the most successful paparazzi consultants have in common. By incorporating these activities into your daily routine, it's only a matter of time before you find the power in their simplicity. One, be a product of the product. What do I say all the time? Not even just with paparazzi, with every single MLM I talk about, wear your favorite paparazzi pieces to work, school, running errands, and more. Don't forget to share the best part. Everything's just $5. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna go run an errand, we're gonna go get gas, and you're just gonna stand there with your fucking bling every everywhere and just like, it's just $5! I just spit everywhere. <laughs> it's disgusting. Anyway, yeah, be a product of the product. This is why people end up in debt so quickly with MLMs because that's what they're taught to do. That's what I was taught to do when I was with Limelight. No one's gonna buy the products from you if you're not using them yourself. There we go. Okay, two, share your story often, okay? Tell everyone about how paparazzi has impacted your life. 
Except don't be honest about it because we all know that you're in a lot of debt, but don't tell anyone about how much debt you're in, okay? We're not talking 45% commission or team bonuses either. Well, they have to say that because then it's against FTC regulation, but okay, share your true story and share it often. Oh, okay, so they did put true in there, but you know that no one's doing that. You know that no one's like, hey guys, I love paparazzi. I'm $500 in debt from buying all this shit, but I love it. It made me financially free. And it's like, no, it didn't. You're $500. Anyway, okay. Be generous with compliments. Compliments break the ice and open the door for conversation by helping people feel comfortable and confident in your presence. And this is why when these people slide into our DMs, it's always, hey, gorgeous. Hey, beautiful. I thought you'd be great at what I do because you're so pretty and shit like that. Like, because these companies, not just paparazzi, they all teach you to do that. Flatter whoever it is you're trying to recruit. Flatter the customer. Make him feel good. Most importantly, keep it fun. I don't understand how a jewelry party could be any sort of fun. You are truly changing the world $5 at a time. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay. Hashtag $5 habit. Oh, and look at that. On the back we have a compensation plan. So this is probably something that you would give out at your parties. It's not a um, income disclosure statement by any means, but it's basically just showing you and telling you like, this is how you're gonna make money. We've gone over the compensation plan a little bit on this channel. So um, this is not the important thing though. The important thing is really that income disclosure statement, which so far I haven't seen in here, but they only just released it back in November, I believe. So basically um, this is what we find online you can find this online very easily. Here's what gets so messed up is that when you get to these higher ranks, the OV being the organizational volume, that comes from your downline. And what's included in that is the inventory that your downline is purchasing. And then of course, this is your downline. These are the percentages that you're gonna get every time someone in your downline buys inventory. See, that's why this is scummy because the uplines are all getting money from people underneath them spending money, not from customers. I mean, we always say, you know, the consultants are the customers. Yeah, I mean, this is just as clearly as true within paparazzi. And I mean, we saw it with the other page we just looked at when they're saying, hey, you got to be a child of the product. Right. Every time you're being a product of the product, whoever is above you is benefiting off of you doing that. And that's when you have all these people just like getting all of that inventory because also the consultant rank here, there's no personal volume requirement. The next rank and everything above that, is at least 50 to 100 PV. And I'm trying to remember, I think each piece of jewelry has two PV linked to it. So you're basically expected, if I'm correct, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong here, but you're expected to buy 25 pieces of jewelry every single month if you wanna maintain this rank. I'm pretty sure that this number includes pieces you may have sold from your, like your website or something. I, I'm not really sure, but anyway, so that's, that. Now I have another copy of the compensation plan on a thicker piece of paper because on the back here, accessorizing your success. Um, this is all about the things you get when you rank up. So this all being part of the party pack. Oh, also just the girl changing the world $5 at a time. If you're a Maven A-lister, you're going to get this Chanel, whatever the fuck, and this necklace and some plaque. The fact that all of this is coming from a party planning kit just shows how recruitment heavy these parties are meant to be. They have these stupid ass memes and then on the back they're like, oh, look at these things you can get. It's a, uh, what? But no, it's about selling jewelry. No, I don't think so. Anyway, we got fashion fix collections. Oh, look, they're telling us all about what life of the party is. We've gone through that a little bit on this channel as well. Oh, fashion fix, I guess, is like a subscription service for consultants. Only available to consultants. Comes with 25 new accessories shipped directly to your door automatically every single month. That's going to meet that 50 PV requirement. And of course you can resell these if you have the customer base to do so. If not, you're just gonna get 25 new pieces of jewelry every single month. It's just gonna keep loading up there, honey. More life the party stuff. And of course the crown club, which you do when you maintain sponsored people. I don't know, it's all higher up shit. There are countless ways for you to share paparazzi right in your own backyard. Just a few ways to let everyone in your neighborhood know that you are available to feed their $5 habit. Oh, look at a master clientele list on the back. The first thing it says on here is to be a product of the product, encouraging its consultants to continue to buy paparazzi jewelry. 
grocery. Pass out five business cards every day. To who? They want you to go to the grocery store and just be like, here, hun. Like, what? Keep jewelry in your car. Now, in Arizona, where I live, if you're gonna do that shit, you're going to give people third degree burns. Please don't do this. Okay. Donate to a community event. So basically, they're saying use charity as a means to get customers. Like, that's fucked up. Place a yard sign in your yard. Can you imagine how tacky that shit is? Set jewelry on the checkout counter of a local store. Are they really saying, like, you literally need to just, like, ask someone, hey, I know you own this store. Can I sell my jewelry at your store? What? Throw a launch party. Even if you've been a consultant for years, well, then what a really be a launch party. Give jewelry as a gift and don't forget to include your business card. Okay, this goes back to the whole thing where it's like, you're not supposed to benefit from giving a gift. It's supposed to just be a nice gesture. If you put your business card in a gift, it shows that your intentions are not to be kind. It is to make sales. Ugh. Place your business information on your car. Yeah, that's not tacky at all. Give a free piece of jewelry and a business card too. And then... Here's a bunch of people that they want you to give free shit to because that totally doesn't come out of your pocket. Holy shit. There is different stuff on the back of all of these. Here's a party checklist. Oh, look at this. Inventory. Under the gather your supplies list here, it says inventory. It's the first one. The more you stock, the more you sell. We know that's not always necessarily true. As a general rule, plan on a minimum of four to five pieces per party guest. That's a lot of jewelry. Sales bags, yard signs, which by the way, it looks as though you can order all of these through their back office. Mirrors, cash box, and money to make change. An apron, which they also sell. Frequent buyer loyalty cards. That's just more money that you have to spend in order to keep your business running. Business. Here's more at the party checklist and after the party. <laughs> oh God, here's the new consultant checklist on the other side here. Under the follow-up call section here, the very last thing here is to get them enrolled in the fashion fix. So if you're the one making the call, they want you as the sponsor to make Make sure all of your downline is also enrolled in Party Fix. Ay, ay, ay. So what would that be? 25 pieces of jewelry. You're spending $2.75 each, like 60 something bucks a month. You're gonna enroll each one of your consultants in a $60 a month box of fucking shit that they either now have to wear all the time or sell. And they'll try to sit there and go, it's so easy, the jewelry's so pretty. Well, we'll look through that in a minute, but anyway. Oh, look at this, dates to remember. April Fool's Day, Nurses Week. No wonder the paparazzi huns are just out and about right now, holy shit. President's Day. <laughs> Here, Karen, I got you a President's Day gift. Who fucking does that shit? Uh, maybe just like a President's Day sale. They're like expecting you to do that. I don't know. First day of spring, Flag Day, Cinco de Mayo, Teacher Appreciation Week. Yeah, I'm sure every teacher just wants all your shitty $5 jewelry. Administrative Professionals Day. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Amanda left us a little note here. She wrote. <laughs> Because there's more dates to remember on the other side. Christmas. They spelt it Christmas. <laughs> and Amanda said, can't spell Christmas. Ah, that is the funniest shit out of every holiday. You would probably make sure that Christmas is spelt correctly, right? What is, it's my party day. Can someone give me an exact date on that? Because I want to know when it's my party day. Is that my birthday? I don't know. Election day. What? <laughs> Come on. These are so stupid. Stupid! Okay, what do we have here? These are just some organizational forms. They have at the very top here, you enter your desired retail profit. So say you want to make $500 that month. They give you the little equation here. They're like, okay, so divide that number by 2.25 and that's how many pieces you have to sell this month. Okay. Thanks paparazzi for teaching me basic math skills. Parties are the lifeblood of any successful paparazzi business, this says, although a lot of people will sit there and argue that all you have to do is go live on Facebook, but no, straight from the fucking horse's mouth here, paparazzi says that parties are the lifeblood of any successful paparazzi business. All right, it looks like they give you, you know, take notes on your business every single day. Thank you, paparazzi. Oh, a glossary of <laughs> frequently used terms. It's all just kind of basic MLM shit. There's more of the glossary and some paparazzi notes. We're almost done here, guys. 
because <laughs> I haven't gone through any of this stuff yet either. I'm doing this all on camera for you guys, so. Ooh, the fashion fix, bitches. This just basically tells you how fashion fix works, when it's billed, what to do with all those fucking pieces of jewelry you're gonna get every single month. And then of course they end it with feed your $5 habit. Yeah, that's not predatory at all. Oh, and then um, Amanda also said, enjoy your new jewelry, ha. <laughs> Also, I had an old newsletter I thought I'd just send for your enjoyment. Thank you, Amanda. This is from fall 2019, so I wouldn't even say that this is necessarily old. This definitely came out after I posted my original video, which paparazzi did see, and they changed a bunch of shit up after I did it. I happen to know this as a fact. Anyway, fall 2019, one life, honey. Let's get down with our bad selves. These are fall colors, just in case you guys didn't know. Biking red, orange tiger, blah, blah, blah. The trends because paparazzi just know trends. They came out with a men's accessory line, just so you guys know. Selfie September, snap a selfie and win. Hey, fall into freedom. Ew, 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 let's read this. Fall into freedom. Do you remember opening your starter kit? It's nearly impossible to forget such an exhilarating and empowering moment. Not only did you become your own boss that day, but you opened a box of endless potential and gave yourself permission to build the life you've dreamed of. It also puts you in a unique position to be the one who changes someone else's life for the better. September is the perfect opportunity for you to invite others to fall into freedom that paparazzi has given you because we're including free pieces from the 2019 fall collection in every start again. Ah! No matter what your starter kit represents you it's time to share the opportunity with those around you invite them into fall into the freedom uh all right okay i don't think you guys are ready for this jelly let's look at jewelry now she sent me a few pieces okay quick disclaimer i'm pretty sure i got all of the ones that she sent me i put them up here where i normally film and sparrow and the cats were up here yesterday and i found one of the pieces opened and on the floor and i was like shit but everything else is still contained so i'm hoping that I was able to gather all of these up again. Let's go through it first. Here's here's the first one that I, that Amanda sent me that Sparrow opened for me already. Um, basically, it looks like there's one big giant rock in the middle, and then um, all these little beads all around. This looks like a craft project, and I'm not even like trying to be mean. I'm literally saying when I was in middle school, for some reason, there was a trend where all my friends were all making their own jewelry. For Christmas, I asked for a like a bead set and it just came with a bunch of different kind of beads and then like the strings to do anyway. This looks like something that we were making. Shitty little red beads on an elastic string and then whatever the centerpiece is. It's like, I'm, I'm seriously not trying to be mean here, but this, I wouldn't pay five bucks for this. This should be sold in a children's store. This should be sold in Justice or some shit. Like, oh my God. All right, moving on. Now this one, it looks like a snap bracelet, but it's not because it's got buttons. So I don't even know how hard this is gonna be to put on. Oh, okay, it has the tag still on it. Oh, this is the Mer Mermaids have more fun silver bracelet. Come on, paparazzi, I didn't bring scissors up here. Quit fucking around. Okay, all right, so we got faux leather. Obviously, it's faux leather. They wouldn't sell a real leather bracelet for $5. Some sequins and just other um, shiny things. All right, and then um, buttons some slits in the leather there. Is this bracelet necessarily ugly? No, I mean, it's very blingy and it's very loud. I wouldn't personally wear this unless I was trying to be blingy and loud, but it is cheaply made. I will come out and say that for sure. There's nothing quality about this, but it's fine. I don't think it's ugly and you can like pair it with stuff. But again, I also look at this and I think I would see that in Claire's. You know, this one looks interesting. This is brass post earring artifacts of life. Now, obviously I have my earlobes stretched, but I did wear these plugs today because they have like little holes that I think I can somehow get some earrings to like hang from them. I don't know, we're gonna try. These are Karen earrings. <laughs> A Karen would wear this. Although they do kind of look like little bones and I feel like if they were actual bones, like they'd be cuter, but that's just because I'm emo. What? Uh, you know what these look like too? Uh, if you turn them upside down, they look like a menorah. <laughs> Except not enough candles anyway. There we go. 
Um, now all I can see is upside down menorahs when I look at them. I don't know. I'm probably just being like too critical. No, nah, these are not my style at all. <laughs> You know what? Maybe some Karen somewhere would see those and go, I love those. Now the quality on these, I would say, sure, they're worth $5 maybe. They're not, it's not bad. But like these little gold things, like the texture on it, and then it's like painted all like ugly. I don't see anything cute about these, but someone else might. I'm not here to yuck anybody's yum. Pippi, no, it's not a toy. No, it's not a toy. Don't play with these paparazzi earrings. You'll get cancer. These ones are fucking ugly. <laughs> These are the Plume Bloom Brown Post. Pippi's playing with the bag, sorry. <laughs> I just don't have much to say. They look like little brooms. I'm gonna use this to dust off my little counter here. Like, there's nothing cute about this. Ugh. I physically feel sick putting these in my ears. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, and I think this is the last piece Amanda sent me. At least this is the last one I can find that didn't get stolen by a toddler or a cat. I'm gonna be careful with where I put stuff from here on out, guys, I'm, I promise. <laughs> now this one also comes with earrings. Um, this is a necklace. There's no label on this one for what it's called, but um, right away, let me talk about this little charm here. It says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, Luke. 10, 27, and then on the back it says, with all my heart. When I posted my paparazzi video, my first one, and I went through that interview with those chicks who said they were gonna <laughs> sue me, I made a very big point about this particular consultant um, using religion to sell her shit. Oh, that's chunky, honey. Maybe if it was like higher up, it wouldn't be so bad, but I can't make it go any higher. No, it's still bad. What am I talking about? Okay. And I got a lot of comments of paparazzi consultants saying there is not a religious undertone in paparazzi. I have never even seen anything about God or heard anything like none of that. I've never heard it. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. There is a freaking necklace around my neck that came from paparazzi that has a Bible verse on it. A company that has no religious background would not make a necklace like this. And it just further solidifies the point I'm always trying to make is that multi-level marketing companies use religion in order to recruit people and to sell to people. That's why in Utah, <laughs> you see that it is the MLM capital of the entire freaking world. And we all know what else is in Utah, don't we? So. <laughs> Ugh, this is, it's hideous. It's really hideous. Okay, what I will say first is that for $5, a big chunky necklace like this, that's kind of a, a decent deal. It has like little details on the inside of the chain. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe you're into flowers and shit and God, I don't know. <laughs> is the amount of material that is hanging around my neck worth $5? Maybe, <laughs> but I mean, personally, I still wouldn't buy it. I think this is ugly as hell. This obviously isn't all of paparazzi's catalog, okay? I get that. What I have been sent my personal experience now with paparazzi is that some of this shit is not worth five dollars some of it is but pretty much all of it's pretty ugly my favorite thing is probably this it's shiny but it's basic it's not like no one's trying too hard with that one you know um everything else i'm just like damn what my idea is gonna be for here i have been in contact with tamara the lead safe mama through email um since i posted that video about uh her doing some paparazzi testing on her website we talked about maybe collabing a little bit or something like that so i'm thinking you know i'll, I'll email her again and see what she's up to these days but i would love to send these to her and have her test for lead from what i remember i haven't watched that video in a minute she did find cadmium which has been a proven carcinogen or something like that, um, as well as arsenic, but I think they were saying that arsenic is pretty common in small amounts in jewelry. I don't know. I think it'd be cool to send her like this and maybe these earrings that I'll definitely never wear. I, <laughs> um, just all the kind of metal stuff, just to kind of see what it's all made of. So I'll see, I'll reach out to Tamara again and see um, if maybe I can send some of these to her and uh, she can test them herself, let me know what she finds, um, maybe do a little collab there. That's my idea here. Obviously, I have to give my biggest shout out to Amanda Flowers for sending me all of this magic. This was great. <laughs>
<laughs> it was a wonderful package to receive. And of course, as always, if you're someone who has a bunch of old MLM shit laying around, feel free to send it to me. My PO box is in every description and all of my videos now. But yep, send me your old MLM shit so I can review it. Spoiler alert. And I feel like I might be missing one. Thank you, children and cats. But I got Arbon Fist Sticks, bitches. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to do a taste test of all of these. I can't remember if she sent me five. I feel like there was a sixth one, but it might be lost now because cats. <laughs> um, and in the future, when you guys send me stuff, I will make sure that when you send me stuff, they are not in a place where my toddler and cats can reach them. All right. Okay. So stay tuned for this video. I'm going to do a taste test of all of these and let you know what's the dealio with these. Um, I believe the girl who sent me these was named Stephanie. So if you're watching Stephanie, thank you for these. These will be my next <laughs> deep dive <laughs> into MLM products. I'm extremely excited for that. And while we're doing shout outs, let's shout out my glorious patron. Huge, huge thank you goes to Michelle Matthews, Irene Nordeed, Amanda McMahon, Corey Allison, Maria Burchett, Molly Wasilewski, Whitney Gregory, Katrina Rosmarek, Elizabeth Wyatt, Jenny Ruby, Rachel Elliott, Oren, April Lindblom, Bobby, Ashley Nichols, Tuesday the 13th, aka Burning Silence, Justin Kelsey, E. Higgins, Muir Family of Seven, Savannah Krakowskis, Maddie, Boris Geller, Meredith Nakata, Rachel McHenry, Desiree Lopez, Matt Douglas, Molly Bresson, Vandis Closet, Kim Cartwright, JP, Eugenio Schaefer, Maddie Darley, Kelly Crefield, and Real Fly, Real Eyes, and all the rest of my wonderful, amazing patrons. Of course, remember, even the lowest donors get access to our patron-only Discord server, which is just growing every day, and the conversations and the community, like, we're all out here <laughs> just desperate for human interaction, and this has given a lot of us that option to be able to interact with other people without having to leave our house. Um, so it's been really wonderful. We had Meme Monday yesterday. On Fridays, we have Family Game Night. Of course, my fabulous mods, and Lion. She's been organizing just like little things here and there. There's like Jackbox games, nights that just pop up whenever someone wants to play. Like it's just ugh, the community, the friendship, <laughs> the relationships being built. It's, it is a beautiful thing and I can't thank you guys enough. And as always, keep making waves, babes, and I will smell you later. Mommy Tsunami out. <laughs>